Is it possible to store energy at extremely high temperatures of up to 2,000 Celsius? What are the advantages of such technology? And what are the challenges when it comes to developing it? These are just some of the burning questions scientists are trying to answer at this experimental foundry in Norway. Careful preparation is needed before melting metal alloys at 1700 Celsius. Scientists from this European research project want to study if and how it is possible to produce electricity from thermal energy at temperatures well beyond normal. Today's experiment involves melting pure iron and a mixture of pure silicon and a material called boron. We started with the materials that has the higher difference in energy between the liquid and solid state, since that is kind of the, the main effect that we are looking for. And the reason why this is so important is because we can store a lot of energy in very small volumes. Ultra-high temperatures shift the heat transfer process from convection to radiation. But this process has to be as efficient, reliable, stable and as safe as possible in order to avoid both accidents and energy waste. At high temperatures, everything reacts with everything, and each of these reactions can cause huge changes in the container's properties, even resulting in its cracking. Ideally, we're looking for the right conditions to guarantee controlled chemical reactions during the melting process. In Madrid, additional research is being carried out to manufacture the first complete systems. Researchers hope their work could soon turn into a low-cost thermal power station where energy from sustainable sources could be stored in latent heat batteries in order to provide electricity. We can store between 1 and 2 kilowatts an hour per litre. That's around tenfold what a conventional electrochemical battery is able to store. All the energy that you're producing during that melting process is an energy that's not wasted. It's an energy that you're storing in the form of heat. Maximising the conversion of such stored heat into electricity is key. For that to happen, researchers need to pay particular attention to the electrons. When a given material reaches a certain high temperature, it releases electrons. Our objective is to help release those electrons in an efficient way at a not too high temperature. In this way, we can maximize the conversion of thermal energy into electricity. The electrons are the conveyors of electricity. This prototype is putting the theory into practice. Made from fewer components, the cost of installation and maintenance is lower. If tests prove conclusive, researchers think it could go to market. The advantage of building small systems is that we're able to sell many units to increase production and to greatly improve our learning curve. In the short term, let's say five years, that will allow us to introduce this new technology onto the market. 